we are back at Empires of the Undergrowth and gonna play the new story mode of uh, Empires of the Undergrowth. I am at my new ant colony uh, where everything is, you know, got everything and stuff. So <coughs> we're gonna play the new story and I hope you all will enjoy it. So let's read what they are saying here. Your colony is marked for this destruction and must be hidden. The move of to move to the terrarium will award an amount of okay. Select rehouse. So we're gonna rehouse again, of course. Two or four, nice. Let's do this, guys. Short-sighted, simple, churlish fools. They don't understand. None of them understand. The experiment must proceed. There isn't much time. Quickly, my Ryptus, into the terrarium. You'll be safe here. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> okay. 2,134. Damn. Wonder how all the others got. <laughs> Best of the end of growth, the farm curium. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm not gonna play the levels on insane right now because it's pretty late. I don't want to play the levels over and over again. So, oh yeah, and tomorrow I'm not gonna be here. So, um. I'm gonna do all the levels on medium right now, but when I return, I'm gonna try every level on insane. I don't even know if I will be able to upload the video on YouTube to YouTube. Don't know if I would have the time to edit everything and so on. But let's see. I'm probably gonna skip this. I so hope I'm recording. <laughs> I don't wanna check. Because check-in sometimes breaks the freaking game. Wish I have multiple screens. Holy moly, why is it taking so long?
so tired. Seriously though, why is it taking so long? Holy crap. Is it done? Yes, yes. Look. Gone. I see. Well, good. It's about time. Anyway, I'm going to need you to make yourself available this afternoon. Apparently, a large quantity of unrefined jelly has gone missing from the overflow vessel, and Supply wants to speak with the whole group about proper checkout procedures. You wouldn't happen to know anything about it, would you? What? No! What would I want with unrefined jelly? What would I want indeed? <laughs> All right then. Evil motherfucker. Evil motherfucker. <laughs> you don't have. I do not have. Oh, I don't have enough territory. Okay. I see how it is. Whoa. Whoa. Yo! Ooh. Yo, that looks interesting. That's pretty nice. Right, so... Hands will become free to hatch if the egg has been on the tile for a short period of time before... I can support twins. Wait, both of them can support twins. Upon hatching, the ant briefly receives an attack damage speed and resistance buff. Mm. This is what I had on the demo level. Pervasive.
Yeah, let's try to be pervasive, why not? <coughs> and of course... Let's get that tier 3 boyo. Gives a small chance to take no damage when hit. Alright. Fire and attack damage is increased when mounted on an enemy. So that that is like Titan defeating things. This is like mm, deal more damage to Titans, or there's a small chance that they will take no hits. Now choose this one. Upon death, the fire and deals high damage to its nearest enemy. If close enough. Alright. Upon reaching zero health, the fire ant is returned to full health, but only survives for a fair few seconds with reduced attack speed. Last stand or last laugh. Basically suicide bombers. Yeah, let's do that. Why the heck not? Alright, so... 10, 5, 5, 3... Oh, fudge. And this is... 25, 22, 5. This is the rapid fire, yep. 35, 15, 0, 0. Whew. Man, did you see the cost? 51. Okay. The queen, does the queen have? The queen has this upgrade. It was, uh, like months ago when I played with this. Uh, colony, so I'm just checking what everything is. This is the far end now. Movement speed, nice. Area of effect resistance. Area of effect damage reduced by. Okay. Attack damage. Mm, mm, mm. I think I know what I'm gonna choose. <laughs> of course, movement speed. Okay, maybe not so many of the damage. Area of effect, resistance, piercing. I don't know what type of enemies. Like, does this piercing work on? This is good against like stuff like uh, more mortar ants and other stuff. All right, well, anyways, let's go play the uh, tier four, shall we? Again, I'm just gonna do it on medium right now. So let's do this. Oh, that's adorable. Look at the eyes. I am so excited. Also with the free play. Oh, I can't wait to play as the other ants as well. Especially this little one over here. Well, this is gonna take a long while, as again, isn't it? 
<coughs> it basically took freaking 10 minutes for the other one to load. This, uh, don't tell me it's gonna take 10, another 10 minutes. Yikes. <laughs> My nose itches. Probably gonna cut this out so you don't have to worry about it. I forgot to check if I'm recording. Oh my god. Let's just hope I'm recording. I don't, like I said, I don't want to really want to check. I just wish it would show somewhere that I'm recording. Nope. Nothing. Absolutely bad though. This is why you need two screens. One where I can play or watch, and one where I can uh, look for stuff and so on. Gosh, damn it! I'm so tired. Yes, I am recording, okay. This Solenopsis Invicta Fire Ant Queen has landed on the edge of a swamp. She may be far from her native habitat, but the fire ants are well known for their ability to adapt. Competition for food will be fierce. She will need to raise an army quickly to compete with the local predators. That was some lag. Alright, well anyways go oh please don't tell me you're doing this again oh to do there but oh well <laughs> all right that's some lag what are those little things that's something else Of that, that wasn't in the demo, was it? What's this? 
The fire and soldiers will bite opponents, causing physical damage, but they will also periodically use their stinger. Yes, I know that. Thank you for the advice. Alright, so where are we gonna sting? Probably these buggers. Excuse me. What are you? Pervasive our hands will become free to hatch if the egg has been on the tile for a short period of time before hatching. And for attacking enemies until it's glowing. Oh, is that what it meant when it was glowing? Okay. I was wondering what that did. Because the tiles on the other one didn't glow. So when it glows like that, let's see. Yo! Free hands! Neat! I love pervasive. Pervasive is my favorite now. There's time or stuff like that, so I'm gonna probably do this a bit quick. Ooh. The ants have uncovered a group of hungry checkered beetle larvae. The soft grubs may look defenseless, but they have big jaws and appetites to match. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Already loving the music. Intruders in the nest. Which intruders? I don't see any. Oh, you mean these guys I killed? <laughs> yeah. Pathetic. I really don't know what the heck I tried to do. Oh, dude, I'm loving the music. Some dope music. Yo. The colony lies in the shadow of a great titan Just to the north, the... an American bullfrog. This large female has found the perfect spot to feed. Lager. Sheltered by foliage and in the path of many wandering insects and smaller amphibians, she has no reason to move on. Eventually she will need to be displaced, but for now, the fire ants have more pressing business to attend to. I think just one shot at the uh, other thing. What are these? It looks like they're the spigots. 
And then there's the small black ants. Uh, leg. What is this? Many of the milkweed plants growing nearby are infested with aphids. Their honeydew excretions present an ideal, energy-rich food source for the fire ants. Aphids far from the nest are vulnerable, however, and are sometimes relocated closer to home, where they can be better protected from predators and thieves. Mm -hmm. The boggy soil uh. surrounding the nest is lacking in nitrogen and phosphorus. Nutrients vital for plants to photosynthesize and grow. To survive in this environment, some have evolved to supplement their mineral diet by trapping and dissolving invertebrate prey. A six-spotted tiger beetle, Chichindala sexcutata, is on the move near the nest. Its metallic green elytra make it unmistakable, and like its other tiger beetle cousins, long legs give it the speed to chase down small arthropods with ease. A small colony of Fadele Morisi big-headed ants have established themselves on a hill to the west, scavenging for seeds, aphids, and de dead insects. They are unlikely to pose a threat to the Invicta colony if left undisturbed. So I shouldn't disturb them, as you, as what you're saying. Uh, this is a bit too much for my PC. <laughs> A magnolia green jumping spider, Lysoman viridis, has ambushed a fire ant. It prefers to hunt on foliage, where it is less likely to be spotted by predators and prey alike. Out on the ground, it's more vulnerable, but that won't stop it from snacking on lone ants far from the safety of the nest. What is this? Wait, are, is this the milky things? Uh. Should probably make a and 
group that will constantly get food from this thing. <coughs> what is this issue? I can get food from there. But, but, oh well. Let's try it. As the sun sets, the local amphibians oh. begin to emerge from moist crevices near the water's edge. Oh. Lone invertebrates will be picked off quickly. The ants should travel in numbers or not at all. Is it even worth it to get food from that? Puchecha viridans, the green no. link spider. Those peach plants is vicious. Yeah, has set a trap under the lid of a yellow pitcher plant. Dangling precariously over the pitcher's corrosive soup, the lynx waits patiently. Time after time, insects attracted by the scent of nectar conveniently present themselves at her feet. An ant has been devoured by Aerichea quadradicitata, a dwarf salamander. It is nimble, fast, and slender enough to wiggle through tight crevices in search of food. They're dangerous. A bombardier beetle, Brachinus altianans, is hunting for insects outside the nest. It may seem unwise for it to wander so freely amongst the large amphibians that share the swamp at night, but they would do well to leave it alone. This beetle is a master of chemical warfare. What do you mean? I don't like that word, it's scary. At night, eastern narrow-mouthed toads patrol above ground. Above ground looking for food. Ants make up 75% of their diet, so the small colony must stay alert. To make matters worse, they are excellent diggers. It's only a matter of time before one tunnels its way into the nest. The ants have clashed with a bombardier beetle. I'm Feeling threatened, the beetle mixes a cocktail of chemicals that react together, boil, and explode from a valve at the base of its abdomen. I don't like this. I mean, I don't like it, but I don't like it. <laughs> Why is it showing this? Whoa, what is that? There are intruders in the nest. What the heck did it just eat? I see. That's what it is. A narrow-mouthed toad has burrowed into the nest. Yo, it may be it's small for a toad, it but its it appetite for ants is insatiable. Secretions from its skin burn any that manage to escape its projectile tongue. Oh, that's frames. I don't want to 
gonna kill this thing? What the heck? How am I supposed to kill this? This frog is OP. Dawn breaks and the salamanders and toads retire to their damp alcoves to wait out the sun. Only the great bullfrog remains. She sits patiently on her throne, waiting for the next meal to wander by. Die, you stupid frog. Why are you so OP? Five. Are you kidding me? That costed me 300 to kill that thing. And I get 55 back. That sucks. Uh, excuse me. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Come on, come on, come on. Stop lagging so much. You fool. You are a fool, you fool.
Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Come on, leg. Go for it. A fully developed checkered beetle, Enoclerus rosmaris, has been disturbed by the ants. It has the same ravenous appetite and slicing jaws as its juvenile counterpart, but now paired with thick armor plates, it represents a far greater danger to the colony. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Where? I don't see anything. You're weird. Why are you so weird? Well, they weren't that quite dangerous. So I think I will probably be able to kill these guys. Unless... Please don't be something dangerous, please don't be something dangerous. That is mine, alright? There are intruders in the nest. Okay, they're quite dangerous. <laughs> they are indeed quite dangerous.
Defender Queen. And I don't give a, a lot of food. Man, this blues. Once again, dusk sets in over the swamp. Soon, the sandy undergrowth will be teeming with salamanders, toads, and nocturnal beetles. up with all the food here. I don't quite trust it that much. <coughs> <coughs> hmm. That's not good. We got another total arrival. That's just bad guys. Hopefully it doesn't attack us.
Defenseless caterpillars exposed on the underside of leaves are a welcome snack for the passing fire ants. The colony should take advantage while it can. Few meals surrender so willingly. A curious ant has ventured onto a Venus flytrap in search of nectar. If it brushes against the hairs on the open, red-tinged leaves, they will snap shut, encasing the ant in an ever-tightening cell. There is no escape. The prisoner will be slowly digested until nothing more than a husk remains. Huh. Sucks. Oh, look at that though, at least we're killing it much quicker now. It's also killing me much quicker as well. Die you stupid toad. Hold your ground, soldiers! Show these amphibians what we're made of. Victory! For now, at least. Seriously, I have to kill those, that titan. Before they surround us. And come in! For the swamp amphibians, the nighttime feast is over. Toads give way to tiger beetles, and the ant colonies step up their activities. If the fire ants are to stand any chance of establishing a long-lasting empire, they must grow quickly. There is no time to waste. Go, go, go! Get that food! The ants will fight to the death. To what? What they're fighting to the, to the death. The frog is still, I mean, the toad is still there. They don't like this. <coughs> <coughs> The ants must fight. Oh, that's right.
The fire ants have encountered a tribe of Monomorium Minimum Black Ants. Oi. These tiny little ants may seem feeble, but oi, the oi, Invicta oi, oi. colony would do well to treat them with caution. Although primarily scavengers, they are armed with powerful chemical secretions and have been known on occasion to invade fire ant nests. Out there. This is my, my land, my territory. Get your own, buster. I don't trust that. Where are they going? You invade my territory, I invade yours. Hours now. Black ants are so small. By linking themselves together, the fire ants have formed a pontoon out of their own bodies. It stretches from their home territory to a previously unreachable island, giving them access to new sources of food. A wasp mantid fly, Climachala brunea, has descended from her perch into the path of the ants. Unrelated to true mantids, her spiked raptorial forelegs are a perfect example of convergent evolution. Can't take all of us. All right, maybe they can. We need more ants. Lagu, I curse at you. <coughs> the queen is in imminent danger. We're being invaded! A wingless parasitic wasp, Dazzy Mutilla occidentalis, more commonly known as the Red Velvet Ant, has wandered into Invicta territory. Although not on the hunt for fire ants, it will defend itself if threatened. Armed with an extremely powerful sting and displaying bright warning stripes, most creatures give it a wide berth. Sorry about that. Holy moly, that thing is vicious. 
Everything here is vicious. <laughs> love this game. I love this update. At least there's not really time stuff I have to do in this one. The ants must fight. You what? You bloody what, mate? A raiding party of little black ants are stealing aphids. They must be chased down quickly. Hey! Give those back, you motherfuckers! Those are mine! Must put defenders there. Forget it, small black ants. Fire ants are stronger. Night approaches, and the predators of the day give way to their nocturnal counterparts. As they encroach on colony territory, battles must be chosen wisely. Spread too thin, the fire ants could find themselves quickly overwhelmed. Look at that froggy swim. <laughs> I can't wait to test out the uh, free play. 
I don't know if this level is gonna be this or I mean long. A false bombardier beetle, Gallerita Bicola, is also on the prowl for small prey tonight. It impersonates the true bombardier to ward off potential predators, and its mimicry isn't simply visual. It too can spray defensively from its abdomen. In this case, the fluid of choice is the familiar formic acid. Forget attacking, we have to defend. Move it, back to base, go, 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 go. This is basically like the mole cricket challenge thing. Every night there will be more toes attacking the nest and stuff. So I'll have to kill this bullfrog before even more attacks. colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Saving off another night of attacks, the Invicta colony once again proves its strength. Despite this victory, there is yet one obstacle that stands in its way. Ever present, the bullfrog looms over the ants. The beast must be defeated. Eh, you guys can get through as well.
Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. That's a lot of it. I like this new farming mechanic. Oh, I hope these guys won't attack me. They did say at least if I don't disturb them. So, so long as I don't disturb them that they won't attack, I guess. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> okay. I see how it is. The fire ants and big headed ants have met in their first skirmish. Sensing the new danger, the Morisi colony responds by awakening ancestral super soldier genes in selected brood, feeding them until their heads are engorged with muscle. Yikes. The big-headed ants now have a super-soldier caste to justify their name. At huge economic cost to the colony, these frenzied champions have been raised for one purpose. To crush the fire ants. Please don't crush me. Stop! It's a trap! Gosh darn it, The guys. ants have been attracted to secretions of nectar produced by a yellow pitcher plant. In order to feed, however, the ants must position themselves precariously over a deep vat of digestive liquid. Waxy deposits on the rim ensure that any ant that steps too far in won't be stepping out again. There he is. There's the big guy. <laughs> that's that's so weird. A raiding party of big-headed ants are stealing aphids. They must be stopped. Hmm. They are quite tough.
Why stop thieves? The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. A raiding party of big-headed ants are stealing aphids. They must be stopped. Back time, boys. As the sun sets, the local amphibians begin to emerge from moist crevices near the water's edge. Lone invertebrates will be picked off quickly. The ants should travel in numbers, or not at all.
Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Dawn breaks and the salamanders and toads retire to their damp alcoves to wait out the sun. Only the great bullfrog remains. She sits patiently on her throne, waiting for the next meal to wander by. Well then, I guess I'm dead here. Oh gosh. These frogs are tough. I don't like those frogs.
A raiding party of big-headed ants are stealing aphids. Oh, they come must on. be stopped. No, please, I need it. You shall not steal my aphids. Fiends. Enough. It's time to upgrade my ants to tier three. The battle has begun. What bell? You shall not pass! Well, that's a bit unfair now, isn't a it? A raiding party of little black ants are stealing How did aphids. You tame they must be chased down quickly. A freaking tiger beetle! How is this possible? Revenge, Revengi, shall be mine. Nice. Even in small numbers, the fire ants are menacing, but in large numbers, they are virtually unstoppable. The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest.
Time for me to keep butt. Hmm. That thing is tough. Is that a new wolf spider? <laughs> Could he be stronger than Wolf Spider? A raiding party of big headed ants are stealing aphids. They must be stopped. Nah. -uh. They ain't gonna steal nothing. Yo, that thing is legit tough. Did that thing just... oh. Hey, thank you! You're very helpful. You're not so helpful anymore! Go away, go away! Be gone! This is my farmland. What? Son of a gun. Oh no, wait. It's still there. That is our aphids. Get your own. Lagu. Once again, dusk sets in over the swamp. Soon, the sandy undergrowth will be teeming with salamanders, toads, and nocturnal beetles. We're gonna need more uh, food storage. An ant has fallen victim to a carnivorous plant. Well, maybe I you shouldn't have fallen for it. Come on, stop falling for it, you dum-dums. It's obviously a trap. Hey, we killed one of them. Didn't give them much food there. There are intruders in the nest. Yeah. Defend the nest!
There are intruders in the nest. That's a lot of toads. <laughs> I'm gonna die now. The queen is in imminent danger. As a big yikes. The ants must protect the queen. Queen is in imminent danger. Come on. This is a big fat failure. <laughs> ah, the queen has fallen. Unable to amass adequate numbers to meet the perils of the swamp, her passing was almost inevitable. She should never have come here. Yeah. Well then, I think I'm gonna end it there. Should've probably... attacked, uh... <coughs> Big Frog, shouldn't I? <laughs> I'm gonna try that level again, but this time off screen so that I don't waste you guys' time or, and stuff. I now know which types of en enemies there is and stuff. I wanted to show the Titan climbing, but yeah, <laughs> I kinda suck, don't I? Alright, well, I will see you guys later. Goodbye. I hope you at least uh, had fun watching. I'm not gonna edit this. Nope.